Hi, I'm Christina Broussard and welcome to another episode of Noisebox Research. Today I want to tell you about a little webcam called the Razer Keo. And it's this little thing. Um, it's really great because it's under $200 and it has this awesome ring light that gives really nice even lighting for video meetings or screencasting, which is actually why I got it. Um, so yeah, I ordered one of these and it came in the mail. I was really excited. And uh, when I opened it up and looked at the documentation, I realized that um, the application that it comes with says that it only works on Windows computers. And uh, that was a real bummer because I just use Mac. So, so I was like, should I return this or should I see if it works? Uh, so after a little bit of testing, I realized that it does work on a Mac, thankfully. Um, the only thing is that you have to get a, a few accessories to go with it. Um, and one of them is the USB-C adapter to regular USB uh, cable. And the other thing is an application called Webcam Settings. Um, it's in the Apple Store at $7.99 and it allows you to do things like adjust the focus, the color settings, and the zoom, which is really important. Um, so yeah, um, I'm going to show you how I set all that up with my Mac. And I'm running Mac 10.13.6 High Sierra. So I'm going to show you how I set it all up and connected it to my Mac so that it works just fine. Thanks for joining me. So as you can see, the Razer Keo does have a little screw that mounts to a normal camera if you want to set it up that way. But what I did is I just mounted it straight to my computer. Uh, like so. And yeah, it sticks on there pretty easily. And if you want to turn it on, you just rotate, rotate this. And you can see I'm recording my voiceover here. <laughs> and you can also dim, if you want to dim the light or make it bright depending on your preferences. It's pretty easy to dim. So this is just a test to show you what the Razer Keo microphone sounds like as compared to my uh, Rode NT1S condenser mic. Um, yeah, I mean, it probably sounds good enough for online video meetings, but you can decide for yourself. For this next section, I'm going to show you how I use webcam settings, uh, which is the, the application that allows you to adjust the parameters for the Razer Keo. So the first thing you want to do is, uh, after installing webcam settings, uh, set it to affect the Razer Keo, and then hit show webcam settings. And then I'm going to demo this using Apple's FaceTime application. And here we go. So once you launch um, FaceTime, the Razer Keo's light will light up. Um, and this is what it looks like turned off with no light. Um, you can see it's trying to autofocus. And this is what it looks like with the light all the way bright, which is kind of bright, a little bit distracting for me. So I like to set it just kind of dim, just enough to light, light me up just a little bit. And um, yeah, so I'll just go ahead and show you how the webcam settings um, application affects the Razer Keo. Uh, so there's three different menus here. Um, under basic, you can um, set the exposure mode. Um, and I was playing around with this yesterday and manual did work for me. I don't know why it's not working now, um, but when I hit aperture priority, it works. So um, maybe you can get the manual exposure to work, maybe not, but um, you can be sure that at least that aperture priority does work. Um, and you can also adjust the brightness. This is all the way bright dark, a little darker. Uh, you can do the contrast, a little bit too much contrast. It's kind of a cool effect. 
Um, you can set the saturation. You want to be in black and white. If you're like a goth kid, uh, you can turn the saturation all the way down. <laughs> um, or you can do the sharpness. Uh, and it does um, a white balance temperature as well, which is really cool. I have this one set to auto, and I'll show you, and I'll show you what um, the a white looks like. And you can see, yeah, it's white. And you can see it also trying to auto focus on this paper. And then when I move the paper away, you can see that again I'm in focus. So. Let's look at the other parameters here. Um, power line frequency, anti-flicker. I don't know what that is. I didn't really mess with that. Um, backlight compensation. Doesn't really do anything. I don't have much backlighting behind me, so uh, maybe if you do, if you're like sitting in front of a bright window or something, you could use that. Uh, but for me, it doesn't really do anything. Uh, focus. So I have mine set to uh, auto focus, which probably most people will want. Because uh, if you're moving around or if like you're, you know, you're coming close or, you know, you want it to be able to like focus on you. Um, let's try it without it. Uh, yeah, so I'm obviously not in focus and it takes a little bit to kind of get it. Who has time to mess with that? Not me. <laughs> So just set it back to autofocus. Hmm. Ooh, see what that did? So yeah, now I have to like actually focus and then click auto for it to stick. Okay. Hmm. Interesting. Um, you can also set the zoom if you want to zoom all the way out. Uh, if you don't mind uh, people seeing what's in your office zoom all the way out or if you want to be closer and like hide all your messy papers and everything you can zoom in close um, and again that autofocus helps you stay more in focus no matter how close you zoom in um, there's pan and tilt which can make you move a little to the side and then tilt uh, yeah, that looks good. Um, I'm kind of interested to see this focus thing because it's not quite, it's hard to manually focus for some reason. There, that looks better. Clicking on auto. I don't know, maybe there's more information in webcam settings manual. On exactly how to use this. Um, you can also save a profile, which I didn't bother doing that. Um, preferences, read auto settings from webcam. Maybe that has something to do with autofocus. Write settings to webcam. I don't know. You can play with it. The app was just um, $7.99 in the Apple uh, store, so not a huge investment and uh, if it helps to make the Razer Kia work then I guess it's worth it. Um, so yeah that's basically how it works and um, I'm Christina Broussard for Noisebox Research and thanks for joining me.